Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a night routine for our family. I have had some requests for routine videos on Instagram and also here in my channel. So I wanted to do one for you guys and I'm also sharing with you guys a gel manicure routine. So I'm gonna be featuring the Nail Addict Polishes. They are amazing and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. I have an amazing discount code as well. So yeah, we just wanted to bring you guys along with a night for our family. This is pretty typical. We have a few nights where of course it changes just because we have evening commitments, but for the most part, it does stay pretty consistent. It starts for us around 4.30. That is when my husband gets home unless he has to stay late and work, but I like to have the house as clean as possible. You guys have heard me talk about that in my cleaning videos just so that it's ready for when he comes home and we can kind of start our evening routine. We do eat pretty early as well. So I like to just be able to have the house in order as often as I can and then he comes home and the kids it's actually a little bit of a struggle to keep them from bombarding him so that he and I can say hi. They are so happy when he comes home. So as you guys can see, the kids are big into card games right now. We actually just taught them spoons this last week and they are loving that. So we also like to do like Uno and there's some board games that we like to play as well and some other card games. They absolutely love having that time as a family and we're doing our best to prioritize doing that in the evenings as often as we can. We have been um, trying to be really intentional with just connecting emotionally with the kids a lot in these past few months. So we do try to encourage that. Um, but in the evenings while we're getting dinner ready, we do have like they can have a television show on or they can have some time with the iPad. And then like I said, we eat pretty early. So it's about 5.30 right now. We like to get dinner done. And this way on the nights that we have things where we have to leave the house, um, it doesn't change. Dinner is usually the same time every night. And then we're able to get everything cleaned up and the house in order before our evening commitments. So after dinner, I do like to have the older kids just help with clear, clearing the table and then Nathan and I usually tag team or like sometimes whoever made dinner, the other one will clean up. It just sort of depends on the night, but this is garbage night. So he wanted to get all the garbages rounded up so that we could get them out. And then I'm just cleaning up the kitchen. And tonight we had just a crock pot chili and some cornbread. So didn't take much to clean everything up. And you guys, I don't know if we've mentioned to you, but we are pretty big coffee drinkers. We usually, we keep it really simple. We just drink like black coffee, but um, a lot of times in the evenings after dinner, Nathan does like to have one cup of coffee. If we have a night where we're going out and we have things to do, I will have a cup of coffee, but I didn't want one tonight. So I just got one made for him and he's gonna have his cup of coffee and we're gonna start focusing on some family time in just a little bit. What exactly are you doing? <laughs> We're taking my idea. They're taking your cards? Yeah. Uh oh. It's not me. Oh. Is Warren playing nicely with you? Yes. Yeah, okay. Does. Well, good. Are you being very gentle with those? Where's that? That's a queen. Oh. Are you being very gentle? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Abby, we're being nice. So yeah, we've got a lot of fieriness in that little two-year-old and we're doing a lot of behavior training right now, but she's getting better. So something that we're doing for the month of December, Nathan was the one that wanted to do this. We're actually reading as a family through the book of Luke in the Bible leading up to Christmas. There are 24 chapters in the book of Luke, so it's perfect to take you up to Christmas Eve. 
And that was something that he really wanted to do. So we were actually starting this. This was the first night and we've been doing it at this point. I think it's about six nights in and the kids are doing really well with it. And we'll talk about whatever chapter that we just read and have some discussion time. So it's a really, really good way to connect with them and uh, just prioritize having that quiet time, reading the Bible and talking about what we've read. So we're really enjoying it and it's going really well. And hopefully we can keep this going after Christmas as well. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name of Jesus. You will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. All right, so if you guys have followed me for a while, either on my channel in the past or over on my Instagram, you guys know I had my nails done for quite a while. I really liked getting the dip powder nails done at the salons. Um, I haven't been prioritizing that this past year, so it's been a while since I've had my nails done, but I've really been missing it. And Nail Addict reached out to me uh, just to try out their gel polish. So I've had gel manicures done before in the salons. I myself have never done one at home though. And I have to say, I am so impressed with these. The formula of these polishes, it is so thick and creamy. This color is a little difficult for you guys to see. It's coming out really pink and light on camera, but it's more of like a mauve gray purple. It's a really pretty color. And as you guys can see, I'm partial to like the neutrals and the pinks. And this formula is so, creamy and pigmented. It is definitely professional grade level. It's super, super easy to apply. I put the base coat on and I let that cure under the light and then I do one coat of color, let those cure, and then a second coat and let those cure and then finish it with the top polish and you don't have to wipe that off at all with like alcohol. Sometimes with gel polishes you do, you don't have to with these ones. So it's really, really simple for a gel manicure routine. And they are offering, I'm super excited, this is an amazing discount, they are offering you guys 55% off of two polishes or more. And you can apply that on the website, just my full name, Amanda Sandifer at checkout, and you'll get 55% off minimum two polishes or more. So that's an amazing deal. And I'm definitely gonna be taking advantage of that code. I've also been sharing it over on my Instagram because it's just an insane deal. And they have so many color variations available on their website. So definitely go and check them out. I have their website linked below. I am super, super excited to be using their polishes and to be able to share this with you guys. So let me know if you have any questions, check out their website, and don't forget that you can use that discount code for 55% off two polishes or more. And this is real life here for you guys. So while I was doing my manicure, Nathan was working on some study homework. The boys were wrestling and the girls had the electronics. I just wanted to show you guys, this is our house. I don't understand what it is about these kids. They have a playroom upstairs that's actually pretty open and it's just like a big old room and they could go up there and do this kind of thing. But of course they don't wanna be up there. They wanna be down with the rest of us in the house. So this is something that I will let them do, but if they get too wild, they do get sent upstairs just cause I do get worried about the fireplace and the Christmas tree. So now it's nearing seven o'clock. Seven o'clock is usually when we put Abby to bed. So we brought her down to brush her teeth. I mentioned to you guys in one of my cleaning videos, the toothpaste situation was just getting out of hand upstairs in the kids' bathroom. So we've made it a routine for them to come down and brush their teeth in our bathroom so that we can monitor how much toothpaste they use and the mess and all that. So Abby is really, really easy to put to bed. Really the only routine that we have with her is she loves to sing songs. So Nathan and I, sometimes we'll do it together, sometimes it's just one of us, but we do like to bring her up here and we'll just sing some songs with her before she goes to bed. Green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Twinkle, twinkle, little star.
good to <laughs> All right, so like I mentioned earlier, the kids are all about card games and we're really trying to be intentional about some family time with them. So this doesn't happen every single night, but as often as we can, if Nathan and I don't have like homework that we're working on for our study groups and things like that, we do like to take at least a half an hour to connect with the kids and maybe play a game. So tonight they wanted to play spoons again. And again, this is just, I wanted to leave some clips in here because they're just hilarious to listen to. They love this. It's such a good way to teach them, you know, how to lose graciously, and they enjoy it so much. Now I know what I'm after. Right. What? what do you think I'm after? Two. I know what I'm after. I have three what I'm after, what I'm after now. What? You have three what he's after. I think, I have the feeling someone's after the same thing as ah. What's talking enough that I don't have, all right? Okay, so the big kids are usually put in bed somewhere between like 7.30 and 8 o'clock. Maybe we'll push it back to 8.30 if we can. Uh, this varies as well. So I had some work to do tonight and sometimes I'll start it earlier and Nathan will take care of bedtime completely by himself and other nights like this, it'll happen later or some nights I don't have it at all. But I'm working on getting trained for like being a virtual assistant and whatnot and just um, working on kind of furthering my knowledge in those areas. And uh, I do work for my mom on her food blog a little bit. And then just if I have video editing and things like that, sometimes I need the evening hours to do that. So Nathan will take over for bedtime. So he was dealing with the older kids and their bedtime. And for them, it's usually just prayers. Sometimes they'll do song time, but uh, with them, we have to be really intentional about just helping them to calm down. So it's usually just quiet prayer time together. So I didn't have a whole lot of work to do this evening. I just needed to take care of a few things. And now that I'm done, I'm wrapping up everything, kind of closing the house down. And again, doesn't happen every single night, but when we have nights where we are home and it's just really calm and quiet, we do usually shut the house down and turn everything off. We've been trying to be as intentional as we can with just connecting with each other. And we've got a lot of homework that we're working on together. Um, he and I have also been listening to podcasts together in the evenings in the room. So I mentioned in one of my cleaning videos, we try not to make watching shows in the evenings a real big thing. We have the TV and it's hooked up to like Amazon Prime Video. And then the kids have DVDs that they can watch. But otherwise we don't have television or Netflix or anything like that. We used to and we just found that it was a huge time suck for us and we were so much less productive in the evenings and then just so much more tired the next day because we always ended up staying up too late. So we really try to do this and I don't want you guys to think that everything flows super smooth with like the kids' bedtime. Tonight was actually a perfect example of that. So are we gonna split you two up? Yeah. You guys gonna go to bed and behave? Okay. Then. No more. It's getting late. Lay down. Go to sleep. Okay. Excuse me. Oh dear. There's pajamas and no baby. Hold on. You're being so naughty. You need to go into bed and stay in the bed. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. <laughs> Hey, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> no more. Lay down. Shall we? Love you. So yeah, I don't want you guys to think that we put the kids to bed and they go right to sleep and we never have to worry about them. We have plenty of nights where we have to go up and tuck everybody back in two or three more times. But this is usually how our evenings go if we have a really quiet night at home. Most of the time, this is how it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. We do early mornings, so we usually are pretty early to bed. Um, but I hope that you guys just had fun watching this. Let me know if you wanna see more routine videos on my channel and I'll see you guys with my next one.